Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm William. Today we'll be talking about rattlesnake bites. So Arizona is home to 13 of the world's 36 identified rattlesnakes. This is more than any other state. As a result of all these snakes, there are numerous snake bites each year in Arizona, making it one of the most common pet-related emergencies in the state. There is an increased level of activity during the warmer months between April and October, making this the average rattlesnake season in Arizona. Though encounters with rattlesnakes during the winter months is still common. Uh, so what happens when a rattlesnake bites? A majority of rattlesnake bites are considered dry bites, where no venom is released with the bite. When there's a wet bite, though, the snake does release venom. The venom consists of a complex mixture of about 15 to 20 protein toxins that spread throughout an animal's body. The sources of damage come from uh, L-amino acid oxidase, which breaks down proteins, uh, phospholipase A, which breaks down cell membranes, collagenase, which destroys connective tissues, there are also other proteins and peptides that can disrupt coagulation control, leading to significant bleeding and difficulty clotting. Also, rattlesnake venom can reduce nerve conduction, causing weakness and paralysis. Lastly, uh, snake bites affect tissue. It can cause swelling, edema, necrosis, and also secondary acute renal failure. This atrox toxoid rattlesnake vaccine should not be confused with antivenom, which is given after a dog has already experienced a snake bite. This vaccine is for use in healthy dogs at least 30 days prior to potential exposure to venom, and its purpose is to reduce local tissue destruction and mortality caused by damp and back venom. The rattlesnake vaccine is produced from inactive Crotalus atrox, or western diamondback venom, and is injected subcutaneously, or just under the skin. It works by stimulating the animal's immunity and elicits the production of immunoglobin globulin G, which are antibodies capable of recognizing and binding the major proteins present in the venom's toxins. The antibodies bind the toxins so that they can't bind to cells, which significantly slows the venom absorption throughout the body. This process is known as neutralization and ultimately reduces damage and prevents cell death. Antibodies generated by this vaccine also recognize and bind many major proteins in other North American rattlesnake venoms so it can also work against several other species bites. It is important to note that while this vaccine is extremely helpful in significantly reducing potential damage and negative effects caused by rattlesnake venom, snake bites should still be treated as a veterinary emergency. Even with the vaccine, owners should seek immediate medical help for their pets to address any possible secondary infections or trauma. Thanks for listening, and we hope you consider vaccinating your pets.